Okay, so Spongy Update says that it's over for Cartoonito after that whole Barney's World thing. It's literally going to be on Cartoon Network on the 18th. They literally still have plans for it. Even though they cut Jessica's Big Little World because they claim that Cartoon Network Studios doesn't do preschool content, you get to the fact that we literally got an announcement about three new preschool content that they freaking changed their minds on this. You get to the thing where Hop didn't get that much marketing, but it suddenly got more episodes. You then get to the fact that Bat Wheels is still doing pretty well. And I might as well talk about this info. Cartoon Ito is a more birds, Discovery Kids, and Family Preschool channel slash block on Cartoon Network slash Boomerang. Offering the best in original preschool content with cheeky shows like Bugs Bunny Builders, Lucas Aspire, which always finds a way to come back, Toad and Friends, Why Isn't That in the U.S. Yet, and Interstellar Ella. Cartoon Ito is a place for kids and families to enjoy crusty characters and experience with a whole lot of laughter. Inspired by positive psychology and its 20th century. 21st century learning, Cartoon Ito is based on the proprietary preschool educational framework of human-centric learning, which aims to support every child's humanness by celebrating their unique selves and encouraging to treat others with compassion, respect, and fairness. Cartoon Ito will offer, will offer more programming that leans into Warner Bros. Discovery's kids and family iconic IP that stems from Warner Bros. Animation and Cartoon Network Studios. Cancel's our Cartoon Eric is still not going to go away. Yeah, Cartoon Ito always finds a way. Even though it's literally just one hour long every single week, people say, Oh, Cartoon Ito is dead! It's dead, people! Cartoon Ito's days are numbered! Oh, no! Well, in reality, Cartoon Ito is still going strong, even though it's literally just one hour long every single day on Cartoon Network. It's doing well internationally. But 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 Cartonito in the, 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 the US it's f -f failing. No, it's not. It's literally doing well in ratings, despite the fact that it's literally just one hour long now. I honestly am surprised that the hub section on Max is even gone there. Is Cartonito really dead? Nope. I don't think so. They can find a way to get hours back. Always people saying Every single time I always see people posting about Cartoonito, Ebs, it's gonna be gone forever. It's not. It literally isn't. It was the reason why we had the global rebrand, the U.S. theme of Cartoonito. And for what it is, the IPs, they always find a way to get back up in a way or two. Now, one thing I can be certain is that Cartoonito might be interesting. It might be interesting if Cartoonito can come back in a different way. Maybe as a time shift. Like, for example, with DFC coming up, I think that Cartoonito might be a good placement for DFC. While the mature content like Steaming Universe and Looney Tunes, they can be at night. Replace the live action stuff, might as well move that to TLC or whatever though those useless discovery networks were probably discovery life that even still exists oh it still exists but you get what i mean for what i'm saying cartoonito is not going away and this info they still have plans in store even though it is just one hour a day now anyway guys this is kawaii mason signing off peace